YouTube. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I hope, I hope all of you guys, I hope all of you guys have uh, been doing well. Um, I've been super busy. I mean, what else is new? I'm always busy, uh, always doing something, always have to do something. Uh, that's just part of adulting and adulting sucks. I mean, uh, <laughs> most of you who are adults know that responsibilities are for losers and we just so happen to be the biggest losers but anyway i did want to discuss with you guys about my second autocross event or second and third 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 and fourth um autocross event so i i wouldn't say recently it's been a couple of weeks now since i've done those two events um and i will post my best and worst time that i've gotten um but I could definitely say that it was a huge improvement over what I have done previously, the very, very first time, which is always good. Um, progress is always a good thing, but let's just get in the car and I'll discuss with you, you know, what happened during those set events. So first of all, again, welcome for those of you who are new. Um, if you guys don't know, I post GR86 content, track focused performance driving content. I even try to teach some of you how to drive manual. For those of you who make the excuse on not being able to drive manual, um, I've taught my kids how to drive manual. So you have absolutely no excuse on learning how to drive manual. So with that being said, welcome for those of you who are new and yeah 86 content and i do have a uh a, a reveal so to speak that i want to do mm, next video um big secret I, I guess i'll keep it a secret for now but uh for my new daily driver i do have a new one and uh i will go over that in a video video coming up which will also be somewhat of a track car as well. Just giving you guys a hint on what I've probably purchased or I mean not purchased, but like picked up. So um, anyway, so yeah, the autocross event. Um, again, I, I guess my two cents from it in a nutshell is once you learn how to read those cones, um, it's all about, it's like a video game in my experience thus far. and. I think you get like five or six turns uh, a session. So um, I'm probably like 14, 15, you know, um, sessions in, I would say. And from my first all the way to like my eighth or ninth, um, I could see a significant improvement. Um, sorry for the noise back there. I should have cleaned out my trunk. I still have a jack and stuff back there, but um, hopefully I, I'm not going on bumpy roads the rest of the time. Anyway, um, I wanted to, you know, say that I improved significantly from my first to like my eighth or ninth, um, my eighth or ninth session. And uh, honestly, you know, like I said, once you kind of get used to reading the course and, uh, you know, run it a few times, at that point, you're just triaging your, your own driving, uh, if that makes any sense. So. You dissect the course, I would say your first couple of go arounds, and then your goal now is to see, or at that point in time, is to see how you can cut cut your time shorter and shorter and shorter. And what I found to be a great help, honestly, is um, looking at other cars that are just like mine. Um, granted, they probably have stickier tires. I do put those factors into consideration they have stickier tires better braking um and they're probably a lot more experienced than i am so i don't necessarily carbon copy what they do but i kind of see how their technique is going through the corners especially with other 86s and brz's out there so i i usually do that and try to see how fast they're turning the corner because like i said once you kind of get used to going around the track um and, and once you memorize the, the course i mean not the track but the course but some of them are on tracks but anyway 
once you memorize the course you're just trying to cut time it's almost like circuit driving pretty much because you know when you're on the circuit and which is what i'm kind of used to and i have more experience on uh, i'm looking for my racing line that'll get me to cut a tenth of a second or if not more right so in the autocross um you're pretty much doing the same thing and then with me being such a novice at it um i was looking at others who drive the same platform that i have and i try to pick up you know pick up some of their tips and also their techniques in order to uh you know improve my skills because one thing that i think this goes with in life in general is like if you are very stubborn and you don't want to learn from others you're never gonna succeed in my opinion um i'm always willing to learn and i always look up to see you know especially from someone who has more way more experience in that in that task than i do i kind of look at them and you know study them and then ask them questions to see what they do and i've learned a lot um one of the main things that i've learned to cut time is um you know braking uh braking at the right spots finding your braking zone again this is so similar to regular circuit driving that you um you'll be you'll be like wow why didn't i think of this earlier you find your braking zone on those tight chicanes and and you you hit the apex you know as best way you can so for me it was just braking where can i brake where can i uh you know full send the car and without completely rotating the car all the way in a 360 degree circle so um for me it was just finding little nuances in that course that i can cut time on and my one of my main um one of my main problems when i first started out was i was driving which i kind of figured i would do i was driving very very cautiously as if i was in traffic or on the street and it took me maybe a few laps to understand or to not understand to kind of break that mode from me trying to drive so carefully because I was trying not to hit a cone when I've seen these these guys hit cones all the time like very experienced guys hit cones because they're just trying to get as close to that cone as possible and yeah they'll cut a couple of times but I think more or less they're just having a lot of fun um, because sometimes it's not necessarily for score so they're just going up there and they're just tossing the car around to see what the car could do maybe they're testing their tires um and stuff like that so I, I i don't know but i know they were having fun which is which is cool you know you still even though you're competing for time with everybody else there you're still having fun because they always they you know they keep uh, live time so you can see what your time is versus everybody else in your class and for me you know i was towards the bottom and i think i still take stay most mostly toward the bottom um for the duration of that event but i did my big takeaway was i learned a lot and i learned the course as far as what my limitations were on that course and for me i made it to where my goal was to just improve enough to where i can say okay well maybe i need tires because i do have all seasons on a lot of people there have you know track tires grippy way grippier tires and you know i'm stock everything so my thing was get the technique down learn how the car is going to rotate under power um and try to break the wheels loose where i could and then try to keep them you know establish more grip or fill learn the car on how it's going to lose grip and when it's going to lose grip so that i can you know make adjustments on the fly so although i did stay you know towards the bottom of the list i, I didn't care about that too much um i i think i was just competing with myself and for me it was just let's improve let's improve let's improve and i was doing that and like i said i think my achilles heel was um, riding the brakes on certain spots and then not full sending the car around corners and maintaining grip because I was so afraid that the tires would just slip and then, you know, especially after like session, you know, 
six or seven or turn, you know, my six or seventh go around with it, I was like, okay, my tires are getting a little squirrely. Everybody's been on the same spots. It was getting a little bit slipperier, so I had to try to be a little bit more careful. Sliding is definitely fun, but you know, you lose time when you do that. So I was just trying to cut the corners and finish the, obviously the course as fast as possible. But I still had a lot of fun. And like I said, I learned, you know, more dynamically on how this car operates and how this car, you know, reacts to certain situations that I was never privy to, you know, on such a small course. So, you know, I would say that's a win in my book because at the end of the day, we're all trying to learn these cars and learn how to control them at, at high speeds. So uh, I can't complain about that event. I did have a lot of fun. Um, the coaches that even helped me out and kind of told me where I should go and how I should do things definitely, uh, you know, gave me the thumbs up that I, I improved. So that helped out a lot. They gave me a lot of encouragement. Um, and I challenged myself and I improved. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. And I challenge any of you guys to go out there, give it a shot. Don't be afraid to, to fail. Don't be afraid to have a crappy time. Like I said, I will post my times at the end of this video, uh, my worst time and then my best time. And granted, it's not the fastest or anything like that, but an improvement is a win in my book. So. With that being said, fellas, that's all I got. That happened at my, I think that's gonna be my last autocross event of the year. So I think I'm gonna do one more big track day and that's it because these tires are pretty much done. Uh, the brakes are fine, the tires are just not, um, I mean, again, they're all seasoned. So um, I'm just gonna, now that I have my daily driver, um, I'm gonna hang her up after one more track event and I'm gonna park her for the most part and continue to make improvements to the car um, to make it function a lot better uh, during the winter time. So, you know, now that this isn't my daily driver, I, I'm definitely uh, going to take my time with this build. I know um, you guys are mainly looking at builds that happen overnight, they just don't for me. Uh, they don't for most normal people that just don't get parts sent to them. Uh, so I do got some stuff coming in for the 86. And again, I got a new daily driver, like I told you guys. So now I can completely focus on building this car first. And I have a very, very fun car to show you guys on my next video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, also, for the like I said, for those of you who are new, um, I run mainly 86 content, um, try to, I'm trying to do this performance driving thing and, you know, uh, spirited driving thing. So I do a little bit of both, um, talk about uh, random things that's going on in the JDM community. I am predominantly a JDM fan. So you'll mainly hear anything JDM on my channel. Uh, so if you like the content, please subscribe, please like the video, please share the video. Um, and let's just build this community and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.
Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> she just added like 10 seconds to her time. Dang. <laughs> Yeah. 